Hello, I'm Dr. George Lundberg, and this is At Large at MedPage Today. Only very rarely does an experienced editor get a spine tingle out of a new paper. For the first time ever today, I predict that a Nobel Prize for Medicine will be awarded to J. Martin Brown, D. Phil, Oxford, a professor at Stanford University School of Medicine. Professor Brown and his colleagues have discovered and reported a fundamentally new approach to the treatment of solid tumors, beginning with the devastating glioblastoma multiforme. Here's how it goes. Tumors need blood in order to grow. Powerful radiation can kill many cancer cells, and it also kills the cancer's blood vessels. How then do any surviving cancer cells regrow after radiation if they have no blood supply? Where do the nutrient blood vessels come from? Professor Brown and colleagues hypothesized that circulating bone marrow derived cells recreated endothelium and thus vasculogenesis, not angiogenesis, thereby providing the needed blood for the cancer to recur. A drug called Plerixator, AMD 3100 or Mosabil, was designated an orphan drug by FDA in 2003 for stem cell transplants and further for use in bone marrow transplantation in 2009. The investigators took laboratory mice bearing glioblastoma multiforme xenograft tumors and administered therapeutic irradiation. After irradiation, they treated the mice with plerexophore to test whether by blocking the bone marrow derived cells from becoming endothelial cells, they could prevent them from providing blood nourishment to the irradiated cancer. Bingo! Recurrence of the mouse glioblastomas was completely inhibited throughout the study period and absent by postmortem histology. See www.jci.org slash articles slash 6 EW slash 40283 slash PDF. It's a long way from mice to humans, but this drug, Plerexithor, is already approved for human use. It is said to be benign. Glioblastoma kills several thousand Americans each year, all after standard of care has run out of plausible options. Not to mention the countless others of the 500 to 600,000 Americans who die from cancer each year, many beginning as solid malignant tumors. Prolixifor should now be tried on humans after fully informed consent, as clinical trials with an N of one. And the results, whatever they are, should be shared promptly with the broad medical and cancer communities. Find Professor Brown at mbrown at stanford.edu to arrange to try this approach to help your otherwise dying cancer patients. Don't worry about off-label use. Much of oncology therapy is off-label. Worry about your patients first. And contact me at glundberg at medpagetoday.com to arrange for the rapid and dynamic sharing of what you learn from doing this. Don't worry about publishing in some medical journal. Journals are so 20th century. In the 21st century, we do rapid learning communities solving problems, not padding CVs for impact factors. That's my opinion. I'm Dr. George Lundberg, at large for MedPage Today.